Alright guys, so we are driving to Galway from Belfast and Trace is actually driving. It's her first time driving out of the country and particularly on the left so this should be... Well, I drove in Germany. Did you? Yes. Okay. But it wasn't on the left. Okay. So yeah, this should be interesting but um, so far so good. Yeah, and I think it's like a three and a half hour drive and right now our weather looks good. I think it's supposed to be raining in Galway but uh, we'll see where we get to. Galway is a city in the west of Ireland. It lies on the River Corrib between Lough Corrib and Galway Bay, and it is the sixth most populous city in the island of Ireland. Located near an earlier settlement, Galway grew around a fortification built in 1124. The then walled city was controlled largely by a group of merchant families, the tribes of Galway, and the city grew into a trading port. Today is a tourist destination known for hosting numerous festivals, celebrations, and events. And it's a balmy bohemian city with a love of traditional music. Hey Gallivanters, so we are currently in Galway, made it here a couple hours ago, drove from Belfast, which was interesting, um, but we are now getting some dinner at a place called McDonald's, and they're known for their fish and chips, so we've got some, I actually ordered some mussels, and Melinda ordered some fish and chips, and we're actually thinking about ordering some chowder because we just saw it on the menu, so we'll see. Yeah, and they, they have two sides too. They have like a, a restaurant, sit down restaurant where you can order things like the mussels. Yeah, and which then, is where we're sitting. And then the kind of the fast side. They have chicken, they have fish and chips. They have all kinds of stuff here. And then we are on this side, which is just the sit down restaurant part. Uh, yeah, we, unfortunately we only have one night in Galway. We were supposed to have a couple more, but because of Storm Jorge, uh, that kind of changed our plans a little bit. So we're actually only here for one night, so we're trying to make the most of it. And we'll probably get up early tomorrow and walk around some more so maybe we can get some gifts. Yep. And we will, as soon as the food comes out, we'll let you guys check it out. Yep. Okay, so, so Tracy's happy. Yeah. So... Get some mussels. Her mussels. I haven't tried them yet. They're steaming. These are Thai style, which she's never had. Uh -uh. So coconut milk, sp uh, chili. What else? Sweet chili, lemongrass. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you saw Tracy's. This is my fish and chips, which looks lovely. There's Trace trying really hard not to get into all of her <laughs> muscles too quick. So it looks yummy. We're going to eat it and let you guys know what we thought. Okay, guys, that's what's left of my plate. That one over there is literally digging out every drop. She can. Yes. Every drop. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. So I had mussels in Belgium, and I thought that those were the best mussels I never had. But I don't know. Yeah. 
these are pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. I don't know if it's just the sauce, but I mean, they're really fresh. I got my bread. Put my lemon in there. Yeah, and, and guys, these fries, I am not always a, a fan of thick cut fries because I feel like they get a little dry kind of on the inside. I don't know how to explain it or what they do to their fries, but they are like super, super creamy on the inside and they are really some of the best chips I've had. And the fish was, was very, very good as well, but the fries I think were the star for me, so. All right, we're gonna let her finish up and uh, we'll be back with y'all. Good morning. Good morning, Gallivanters from sunny, rainy Galway. Yep, I can't decide what it's gonna do, but uh, we have decided, <laughs> cause you know, we're weird like that. Yeah. To take the Galway tourist train. Yeah, it's just, it's a train. This is actually their hop on, hop off. Yep. So, pretty interesting. I'm thinking they don't have very many people do it, so that's why it's small. Of course, busy season, probably so. Yeah, but they're just benches. Yes, they have seat belts. <laughs> I really don't know why you have to wear them, but you know, we're in the back, so there we go. So we will show you guys around. See y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all, so. If you are joining the tour for the first time or rejoining our tour after toot toot. breaking the We're sentence, off. We would like Galway is really hard to resist because it just has a lot of bustling streets, there's old pubs, there's, you know, shops selling the original, traditional cladol rings. Actually, yeah, I think they were invented there. Yes, I think it's what they I were. Read. Yeah, they were. And, of course, you have, you know, your Aaron sweaters and all kinds of other Irish goods. And, and it is a college town, which I think gives it a... a a younger, more vibrant feel. Um, a lot of fun pubs, a lot of fun restaurants and cafes. All right, guys, we're, I think, a little more than halfway through our train ride here and uh, yeah Galway is a beautiful city and there are uh, quite a bit of stuff kind of blocked off the they've gotten hammered with four storms consecutively we were actually supposed to get three nights in and the first two nights it was a what they, a red warning is what yeah. they called it yeah so everything was going to be closed which yeah. is why we ended up staying over in Belfast just because you know 70 mile an hour winds with all the stores closed didn't sound like a lot of fun to yeah, us. No. But uh, anyway, it's, um, it's a beautiful city and definitely one we want to spend some more time in. One of the interesting things was uh, a castle called Lynch's Castle, which actually is now a bank, but it was actually built by the Lynch family, which was, I think, one of the original tribes of Galway. It was built for protection from raids, and they say that um, part of the building actually dates back to the 14th century. And you can also see the Lynch coat of arms on the front of the building as well, so that's pretty interesting. The Spanish Arch was also an interesting area, and it was built in 1584, but it is an extension of the 12th century Norman built town wall, which stretched from Martin's Tower to the riverbank. It housed soldiers who kept watch and manned cannons on the roof. The misnomer of Spanish Arch is thought to be a reference to the former merchant trade with Spain and the Spanish galleons, which often docked there.
Now, I think one of the best streets in Galway is Kerwin's Lane. It is at the center of the area that was originally within the city walls, and it's named after one of the 14 tribes who ruled the town for several centuries. It's just part of the historical town center. It ha it's got this, you know, kind of bohemian style cafes. Uh, one of the bakeries, Goya's Bakeries, which we ate at. Um, other popular restaurants, which we ate at McDonough's Fish and Chips, which you've seen already. Yep. So just a just a lot of, and one of the last kind of medieval streets in Galway. Yeah, I think I think it said that a lot of the stuff that's there is actually built from the 16th and 17th century. So, I mean, definitely, um, definitely an area to check out and just, um, just a lot of fun to walk through. And, you know, fun fact, it also made us feel a little bit like we were in a Harry Potter set for a minute, too. Exactly. <laughs> so, it was, it was pretty interesting. There was another interesting street as well called Key Street. And um, it, it stretches, I think, all the way from Air Square to Corrib. Yes. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of historic buildings there, a lot of different um, artisan shops, and uh, obviously a lot of restaurants and cafes. Tons of pubs, and yep. it, it actually has some of the best, well, a lot of pubs, really, because it has some of the best nightlife in Galway, and I think it's where a lot of, uh, a lot of the college kids go as well. So just a really lively area, a lot of fun. Um, the people there were awesome. Yes. We had a great time. Yes. Um, all very, very friendly. Our only regret is that we didn't get to spend more time there because of uh, the storm. Yeah, and we had planned to, as you all know, but, you know, it didn't happen, but at least we got one night, and we plan on going back. Absolutely. It is It is a town that we definitely think is worth exploring. Um, just, again, just a lot of fun, a very vibrant city. Um compact easy to walk around easy to find everything so if, if you're going to be on the west coast we definitely recommend making a stop in galway if you get a chance because it is a a lot of fun yes it is we hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give us a thumbs up also if you've been to galway let us know what your favorite thing to do there is we'd, we'd love to hear because we are planning on going back and i'm sure there's things we missed so Make sure and leave a comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. Dingy dong. So you'll be the first to know when we release new content. And until next time, guys, just remember, live your best life. Bye, y'all. See ya.